Hello everyone and welcome back to Bromance here in Stellaris 2.0 with the Apocalypse DLC. I have yet returned with a plethora of a band, a group of lovely gents. Hello boys. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What uh what were we I'm trying I am actually trying to remember. You oh right, 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 you. right, 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 right. We're, we're taking over waiting on an you. AI race so then we can take over a uh, hegemony race so that Sabas can get his territory back. Yes, plus Vanguard was going to help me kill this Dreadnought because he cares about me so much. Yeah, exactly. Got it, got it, got it. I'm, I'm dealing with pirates mostly. And pause the game. We'll pause the game. Uh, and I am very worried about this Orasi <laughs> space. About at any point they're going to break their non-aggression pact and then just charge into my territory and blow up my planets well then keep uh -huh. garrisoning your uh your uh, border make wait, it make wait. it better the, oh i am oh i am mickey, oh they, i am that's where all my money's going they have a non-aggression pact with you mickey yep well, what I is it with all right. these no, refugees no um, no they have a you. they have a truce that's it oh, truce, okay yeah. okay no not a non-aggression pact would be nice that'd be very nice but yeah, no, but I, I, I ask it because I never saw an AI broken a non-aggression pact before, unless you oh, really? piss them off. Yeah, huh. they they tend to be truthfully to their beliefs. Let's, well, let's as we know, uh, that's nice. Because uh, unlike remember, uh, like all the Total War games, they would never do that. So yeah. I, I remember there was a a I read something about how the diplomatic AI and the military AI AI were two separate entities, and they would actually fight against each other in the same. Um, nation so the dip diplomatic ai would be like yeah um we'd love to ally with you and then the military AI would send all their forces to the border and then attack and be like great awesome thanks <laughs> thanks yeah. for allying with me so <clears throat> we have this war one yeah something like that okay so i'm moving my battleship fleet to the north about and i'm going to jump to where you are and we can engage uh, the Dreadnought then. No, well, first, though, we gotta. Believe it or not, we actually have to go to war with the Interstellar because um, I can't. 30k? Actually. Just hold a second. You have a repair ship there. Do you guys remember to, if, uh, to get the Dreadnought, you'd need a science ship or a repair ship? I don't know, but I've got both there ready to go. You do? If you have access to that system with both ships, uh, I can just jump there and kill the Dreadnought for you. And you can reclaim it before the war. So you have a 20k pet on the, at the war. Well, the problem wow. is, is that he also wants to think, do things like colonizing and stuff like that. He can't get there with any of his ships because he's got two no, planets I, uh, well, between I'm, those areas. I, I understood that, bro. I get what, what you're saying, both, uh, saying. I want is both that of we, those. <laughs> If if we get the Dreadnought before the war, that's what I'm trying to say. He can get the Dreadnought and we go to war using the Dreadnought with us. Yes. Th that, Do that's, you guys need me or can I send my ships home? Um, I don't know. Actually, I think I think destroying them before you get the Dreadnought would be good because the problem is that the long right now they're weak because they've just lost a lot of their territory and they've been fighting with AI or with the robots. Okay. So if you take them now, yeah. they're weaker than if That's you fine. leave it for you know a year. Or yeah, long. I'm good with that. Plus the, the Dreadnought's fine. not going anywhere. And yes, Ma, we need you. Okay, where do you want to? <laughs> where do you want me to rally then? Do uh, wanna... Just clear, those, just clear those, those last two systems and rely on Prima. I don't think there's anything left. Uh, there he is, Sosta and Pildram. Oh. Uh, Actually, if we declare war on them, we're right on top of the 38k fleet. Is that where we want to be when we declare war? Yeah. Do you want to be right on top of their fleet? Right, Go to Planet Knuckles, that's where they are. Yeah, exactly. That, do, you, that do you see what I'm know. talking about? No, uh -huh. I have no idea what we're doing, so why don't you guys clue me in so I can... Okay, where do you, so... Where do you want me to go? Uh, go to... Sh Shermaton, X-A-R. I'm going to send my battleship fleet there and we go backdooring them while Sabaut and my other fleet go to the top. X, Does that make X, sense? X-A-R? Yes, yes. X-A-R-M-A-T-O-N. Okay, send in my fleet there. Okay. Okay, uh, Sabaut, I'm just going to leave that interceptor <laughs> fleet on your command, so do whatever, whatever you want. Do you, see where we're, do you see where we're sitting on top of right now? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. That fleet has no chance against what we have there. So don't worry. And then, do we want to peace out with the robots first? 
The ones that are in disguise? Why haven't they... Oh my god. Why haven't they <laughs> pieced out yet? What is... What are they waiting for? Um... Do we not I'm... have all their systems? Mickey gets my Dosta. Humor. Can you set status quo with them? Or they are not accepting that? No, I can settle status quo. Do I want to just do that then? Yeah, you've as got all as, their planets and stuff. Yeah, Let's see, attacks exactly. Vanguard's Empire. Uh, if we get all our claims on that way, that seems fine. Or I think it's giving us all the claims. Okay, so if you want to give it a try, that's fine for me. Unless somebody has some... Okay, no, it yeah. didn't give us all the clan games again. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to get it. Well, status quo doesn't give you claims. It gives you what you control. I controlled. Um, it didn't give us not anything at all. we control. <laughs> exactly. I that was very the odd. Loop. Yeah. Well, no, but I you, controlled you controlled... It gives you what you can control, but you didn't take the surface of any of the planets you were above. Ah, uh -huh. oh, so you need to take control of this surface. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because you controlled oh, the you got the ones you controlled, which were the station with the ones that only had stations in them, because you can control yeah, those automatically. Yeah. That's what it means. So that's I yeah. see that. So you needed Five to back. take the ground to to make that work. Okay, so All right. ten years from now we do that. So that sucks. just just wait for Mal to get yeah on Shermaton. It's about to declare the war. Or you could just wait was, for the fine. for the interstellar hegemony to take some planets because they've already taken one of the planets that. Uh, yeah, um, that's a good point. Yeah, let's wait for let's wait for them to beat these robot guys. Because now they have okay. to because they have no fleet yeah. to fight okay. back with. That that's fine for me. No problem. So <clears throat> let's. I can't freaking go anywhere because my ships are just trapped in Eskela because I've, I've got... That's so odd. They can't go anywhere because they've got me... The border's closed, so my, trips are just, my ships are just trapped. Yeah, let's wait for them to kill the AI, and then we'll declare war on them. Roger that. <clears throat> that seems like a good plan. That gives us time to build up anyways and get stuff moved around. Copy, copy. My god, <coughs> refugees are just flooding into my systems. <laughs> from all of, from different places in the in the world, in the galaxy. Oh my god. Like, the Ro new Roanoke has no humans on it anymore. They just... Like, it's just refugees flooded in and took over. <laughs> it's just the habitat of refugees. Construction complete. But that's fine by me because every tile that I put a energy production facility into is making ten energy on this station or on this uh, habitat. So that will yeah, ha habitats are just awesome. Well, it's normally six, but I have a lot of bonuses because of my governor and stuff. So yeah, but uh, yeah, that stuff that's gonna change my whole uh, energy situation real quick. The Gekans are so cute. They are, right? Yeah. The hell? Um. What happened to my battleship fleet? Missing in action. What the hell? Oh, it was probably in territory it couldn't be in when we ended the war. Oh, yeah. yeah. They That's claim it. Right. Yeah, got it. I'm got it. waiting for that to happen. It's going to happen to our fleets up here in Escala as soon as yeah. the Mal, Interstellars you, take it. You might, you might want to retreat to Krimador. Yeah. Krim, Krimdor. That's the name. But does, I, see, I would... CRI. Actually, Vanguard, if you if they haven't closed borders to you, get your get your fleet out of there. Yeah, they have closed. Uh, where do you want me to go? I can jump I mean, away from there. Yeah, just jump name just the system. wherever... Uh, Fid Fid Hillam, Fid Fid Hillam, F I D H I L A M, um, right okay. next to Dojack. Actually, I have to jump to Bobima, and I'm going to move there manually because okay, of the range. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. good enough. Yeah, jumping. I can't. I'm gonna be trapped, so I'm just gonna have to go missing in action. But at least you'll get out of here. You won't lose any okay. ships. It'll just it'll yeah. just deposit you somewhere. Probably probably to that little alcove you've got. 
there, so you'll be attacking from the opposite direction this time. I'm building stuff, trying to balance out my economy. Stuff. Oh, I can taste the positive energy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm at negative nine right now. You can do it. One more, one more energy production facility on this habitat and I will be in a positive energy. For the I first wish, time. What should my station platforms be set to build on? Their uh, setup. What do you mean? Uh, weapons, uh, abilities, stuff like that. Your stations? What do you think? Like, yeah, like the weapon platforms. Oh, the weapon platforms? Oh, I've got... Like yeah, I've got mine half and half to... Uh, what is it? Mine's... Like uh, in size? Mine's, yeah, mine's missiles uh, and uh, hangar. Works too. Hangar and missiles works very well together. Roach, yeah, you... Uh, Vanguard, you second that? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Vanguard's the one that told me to do that, so... <laughs> 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 yeah, actually, what I told you, I think I misspelled it, is to build the defensive platform zone with only okay, fighters and the station it. itself only with missiles. But doesn't matter, mixing them is well, it works well enough. The, the difference is marginal between them. Really depends on what you're fighting against. Uh, hold on, when you're when doing the setup, what... What do you choose a section as? Light, medium, heavy, uh, point defense. Well, it's not point defense. Almost Missile out. station section, hangar station section. Ah, okay, yeah. gotcha. Both of those. I have an unspent civic slot. If I don't have hangar, then I'll just build two missiles, yeah? Yeah. If your yeah. missile technology is way ahead of your hangar technology, you should build missiles, and the other way around also is true. Were you saying that uh, torpedoes were rubbish? Let's go with missiles. Uh, actually, that depends. That's the problem. The later the game is, the more powerful torpedoes get. On the so early game, just go, for the, go for missiles to begin with. My missiles tech's much better than the uh, yeah. torpedo tech anyway. Okay. Yeah. And armor or shields? Shields, always. The AI tends to use anti-armor weaponry more than they use anti-shield weaponry. All right, I'm implementing citizen service as my new civic. Oh, and I just discovered something. Hmm, interesting. Oh. Um, uh, actually, building hangars on your station and missiles or torpedoes on your platforms is better now because Paradox changed the way the stations work. Before, if you build missiles on your stations, they are going to be, to be all torpedoes, no matter what. Torpedoes all around. And now they are changing between torpedoes and standard missiles. So hangars are better on stations now. And since you can select what kind of module you're building on platforms, you can put torpedoes there. It was the other way around before also, because fighters, they have a, a lifespan. If they are dead, they will not respawn short enough. That's why you build fighters on platforms and torpedoes on stations. If the station is dead, the battle is over. The platforms die first. So it makes sense to build torpedoes on the stations, right? Now, since you cannot select what weapons your stations are using, um, it's more firepower effective to put the torpedoes on the platforms. As much as I hate to admit it. Interstellar's almost done cleaning up the robots, so as soon as they're done doing that, that's when we'll declare our war. Okay. Meanwhile, how's everybody else doing against the robots? The Cabal? Still, yeah. nothing's changed. Yeah. Uh, and the integrators, the technocracy and the integrators have not had their borders shift in I don't know how long. Also, the other thing was that fighters, they have more range than torpedoes. 
and Titans and battleships can technically outrange the the platforms, but against the AI it doesn't matter. Yeah, because I won't do that. Okay. Initiating um, communications. So it's better to put torpedoes on your platforms and hangers on your stations. Is just as simple as that. Stop changing stuff, Paradox, please. Thank you. No, keep changing things. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> don't become Hoi 4's dev team. <laughs> you, play that, you play that game a lot for a guy that is never saying anything good Because about people it. want it, damn it, and I can't. I, you didn't, I try. I try so hard to do something else. <laughs> But they just keep pulling me back in, and I haven't played it all that much. It's not. It's not like it's not like I don't play anything else. I, I'd say I probably play more Star Stellaris and uh, e, I think I have more Stellaris and EU Four series than I have Hearts of Iron Four series on my I channel. Think, I think it's that there's just not a lot of Hearts of Iron. Like, doesn't seem to be like as many Hearts of Iron players out there. Period. So there's probably just let's. Oh no, there's there, less let's there, plays right. No, there's. There are. It's uh, the thing about the Hearts of Iron Four scene is that the the thing is the people that do do it, either do it all the time and they become a Hoi Four meme channel, or they do it and they kind and you know they just kind of they're just the normal content because you have like what what is his, what is his name I Sorrow I Sorrow Productions or whatever it is and he's he's like a big thing in uh, in like uh, in the Hoi Four area and he's like huge and uh and he was uh he works with paradox pretty closely because he's you know the biggest channel for hoi 4 uh it's yeah I, I don't know it's it's hard to explain it's there's a lot of there's a lot of series out for it you just a lot of it's not big and the one that is is very big so it seems like there's not a lot going on and i'm going to say this stellaris is better um you're welcome <laughs> Vanguard, can you open uh, can you open borders for the for the um, interstellars so they can get to Fionis there? Uh, who is interstellar? The interstellars. Um, I'm trying to figure who are they. The our the interstellar hegemony. Okay, interstellar hegemony. I don't think they're yeah. the ones blocking borders to you, so you can't open them. But if you open borders to them, they can get to Fionis. I don't think they can get there if you got closed borders. See where Fionis is? The oh, okay. place. Got it. Yeah, so they can get there and destroy them and wipe them out. Uh, actually, my borders are open. You want me to close? Is that correct? Oh, no. no. Never mind if they're already open, then don't worry about it. Yeah, it's open. You're okay. already open. How the hell does one station I have that has uh, platforms, it has six platforms and it has 11.2k weapons power, another station I have has 16 platforms with exactly the same setup and it has... Complete. Oh, okay, now it's jumped up. Oh, Never mind, I guess it was um, upgrading the weapons. That's I why, Mickey! That. It didn't. <laughs> I just checked that. It didn't. It didn't say that. Poor Mickey's losing it. Poor Where guy. are these yeah. guys going? Ships upgraded. What's gibbering know? now? Just gibbering. There's more <laughs> pirates. Okie dokie. You said that your borders are open, Vanguard. Where the hell are they going? Yeah, they at least they should be. And then just verify this. They're prioritizing the myself. ones that they're prioritizing one system over the other because it's the AI. So it'll take a little. Do you bit see them, them flying through my system though? They're going to attack a starbase somewhere. So I don't know where. It's it's just how they're doing it. Can't really. It's, it's I, don't, I don't know where they're going. There's nowhere for them to get to unless. No. I don't know where they're going. Do you see them right now? They're in Pabma. They're in my space. They're just cruising along. Wow, 50k fleet. That's huge. Yeah, well, where are they going? What the hell did they have on that fleet? <sighs> yeah. A lot of kinetic artillery. Wow. <laughs> They're pretty decked out. 
their battleships are very messed up. A lot of <laughs> missiles. You got point defense? Nah, no. I don't have any point defense either, but I'm thinking it's not a bad idea. Yeah, don't worry. Torpedoes don't hit smaller ships, and they don't just have torpedoes on the cruisers, so yeah, don't worry. It's not worth it. And point defense does nothing against marine missiles. They are the counter to point defense, so don't worry, Tommy. Uh, sorry, I said a Portuguese word. I was trying to say don't worry either. Well, I guess they have jump drives. That's a problem. They're not taking a SCOA. I guess we could just declare war on them and just deal with that later. I mean, they might uh, take. They, they might take a SCOA right now. They have the. They have a. I think they're just waiting for an army to get there. Okay, but just hold. Just hold a second, Sabots, because my battleship. There's an army in. Teleported back. There's an army in. Uh, could you just, could you, I, don't I know see it. It's just sitting there. It might take them a little bit. Just give them some time. Then their other army is okay. In break. Uh, so I don't know. let me just rejoin with Mao here in the south. It's about so we can do this. Just yep. give me a second. It's going to take a while because Titans. <sighs> That was nice. I just transferred 21,000 minerals from one of my sectors. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Time to build some ships. Oh, also, if somebody's needing minerals, just let me know because I'm almost full of the stockpile. On the stockpile. Just send a request of how much you want. All of them. They want all yeah, of them. I, I could. I would say that I could use all of it, but honestly, the minerals we put are spent, um, like in the, the south, um, helping take back that territory, right? Yes. No. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, as I said, if you need minerals, just just send the request with the amount. I have forty one k sitting here doing nothing. <laughs> just copy send a that. request in with triplicate. Make sure you put the carbon copy <laughs> underneath. <laughs> Well, things sir sure turned around for me. I went from having negative 50 to 100 uh, energy per month, now having plus 60 per uh, plus 66 per month, and I'm now actually full nice. on my energy. Yeah. Okay, uh, my Titan fleet's following your fleet, Mao, on the south. It's very to know. Okay, so it's about if everybody is ready, go for it. Um, I'm wondering what I want to do. Let's see. They've got that 50k fleet's almost to Mal now, for some reason. Maybe it's going around. <clears throat> do you see it? Ain't that weird? Uh, it's using jump drives, about That's why. No, no, it's been going. Th it traveled through my whole system so far. Just driving. It's just normal hyperdrives. What? If you're talking about the six star forwarder, star order, they're they're, in, they're inside. They're inside her right now. They're just literally drive. They've flown through through my whole territory so far. They're heading up towards Mal. They have orders to attack a star base, but I don't know which one or where they're going. Look inside her. S C I D A R. It's a 50k fleet. They're not jump driving around. They're just they're just hyperlaning. They've just been hyperlaning through my whole system. Oh, They're heading I see. up. You see them? I don't see. The nice thing is, I could close borders right now, and then that would put them in missing in action while we declare war. That's a very valid strategy. But you've okay, only got now. one jump left before you do that. I close okay. borders right now. I was kind of, I was kind of curious. Though. I wanted to see where they went. Maybe they go really far away, and then we. I mean, Mal can still close borders to them, and then they would going missing in action so it's not like we're missing an opportunity because they got to go through males territory maybe we let them go wherever they're going so that way they've got to they're like really far away because it take them forever to jump back so their 50k fleet would never be in action yeah i say we we, we let them keep going 
Okay, just be careful because they have another fleet on Acela. I know, I can't get my fleet out of there, so I'm like trapped. Mm. But this 39k fleet, that would wreck me. Oh, hold on. But, let's just let these guys keep slow boating can... through Mal's territory and see where they go. Okay, I can jump there. To, I'm, I'm going to jump back there to Acela with my interceptor fleet, oh, okay? Oh, perfect. Okay so, well, okay, so the plan then is we'll let that fleet keep moving through Mal's territory because we don't know where it's going. But it's kind of funny because it's going really far away. So let's just let them go really far away. And then we'll declare war. And then we'll destroy this 38k fleet. And then that'll be their only fleet down here that they have to defend themselves. Because their 50k fleet will be like a million jumps away. And then we'll just start wrecking their territory. By the time the 50k fleet gets to us, the, the war will be over. Construction complete. Fine. Do you see where they are now in Mal's territory? Do you see them, Mal? I am not paying any attention at all to you a, or you anything you're about. saying. There is a. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being honest because I'm, I'm really, really focused on trying to get everything ready. So, what did you need me to do? Oh, nothing. If we declare war, there's going to be a 50k. <laughs> there's going to be a 50k fleet in the middle of your territory. Have fun. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> that's that's kind of unfortunate. For them. <laughs> a big old <laughs> fleet there. With pink trails. What, pink really? Yeah, trails. Are, you, are, are you being serious? That's just gonna no, he's in Sabel. He's in your... He just jumped. Quafoth right now. He's right south of Lambidus. <laughs> Why don't I close my borders my to this territory. guy then? Don't, don't do it yet. Don't do it. We want, them to, we want them to go really far away. And then become missing in action because that increases the, the time it takes for them to get go. back and become yes. available again. Are you guys playing games with the safety of my empire? Yes. You are. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't really appreciate that, gentlemen. Well, I that's it. Don't care. It. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. A little bit harsh, but okay. <laughs> Got to ask yourself, Mal, do you want to be safe or do you want to be a winner? Right. Well, that's true. <laughs> this is there's some truth to this statement. Okay, so they're doubling back around, actually. You believe it or not, I think they're heading all the way down to kill, to well, kill the pirates. This is kind of cool. Taking on two of the big-ass pirate galleons at once. Mal? Yeah, what? I think they're coming to kill the pirates for you. Oh, uh, well, I, I already killed them. Yeah, but I don't know why they would have that order to do that, but that's why I think they did that big circle. Oh, well, yeah, pirates are dead. That's kind of bizarre. Well, Wasn't no, they wouldn't have to use that, that circle. They could have. They could have taken a left at uh, Uzara and kept going yeah, another path. Yeah, I don't know jumps. what they're doing. Okay, well, either way, maybe they um, have a maybe they have an enemy, but uh, maybe they're going up to Lando. But they're coming back now. They're coming back down Not south. Lando. Yeah, Lando. It's twin moons. Calrissian. All right, I guess uh, you guys ready to do the war because they're going to come back south so we might as well, well close we, we, we can do it in the next one because we're over on time oh okay so well, that's what we'll what plan to no yep cliffhanger <laughs> don't right, vote folks. all the videos hope, hope, that, <laughs> hope, that, hope that you enjoyed this one if you did consider hitting that thumbs up thanks so much for watching till next time I'm Mal for Mickey Commissar Roach Vanguard and Sabouts and we will see you later bye, bye guys bye, bye guys bye